Okay, we have here changing equations from slope intercept form into standard form and backwards. Slope intercept form merely means that you've solved the whole equation for the letter y. Standard form means that you've solved the equation so that uh, the right hand side or one side of your equation is zero and a, b, and c are integers. Okay, so you have no fractions uh, left in your equation. So I'm just going to show you how to move from one to the other. Let's take something already in standard form. In order to solve for y, what I would like to do is take everything that doesn't have the letter y onto the other side. Please remember that this still will be a minus 5y. Okay, the 3 x and the 10, they get their signs changed because they've crossed the border. Now, I have to get y by itself. The opposite of multiplying by negative 5 is dividing by negative 5. And all three terms have to be divided by negative 5. Negative divided by negative is positive. And negative divided by negative is positive. So you end up there with your thing in the slope intercept form. You can now read off that the slope of the line is the number in front of the x. That's what we call slope or m. And the y-intercept is the number after the x. Okay. Now let's look at something that's already given to us in slope-intercept form. And change it into standard form. All I see here to begin with is a fraction. So I know that if I multiply everything by that number 7, So 7 times the y, 7 times the negative 2 sevens x, and 7 times the 9. Then I can get rid of this denominator. 7 and 7 cancel. I'm left with 7y equals negative 2x plus 63. Now I just make one hand side 0. So I've got rid of all of the fractions. Now what I'm going to do is make the right-hand side equal to 0. Minus 2x becomes plus 2x. And I usually put it first. Plus 7y did not change sides, so it stays plus 7y. Plus 63 becomes minus 63. And we now have taken it and changed it into standard form of the equation. Okay.